Good? Yeah. All right. Allez. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed. It's the first and only time that I'll ever wear a wire. <laughs> <laughs> First and only. Every morning um, I come in here and I speak to the players and see how they are and just chat for five minutes, two minutes, just give them a bit of personal time. You know, there is, there is a human behind the player, the coach, the staff members. He's going to take it. Yeah. I'm going to have to call PK to get it back. I want to be one of the best coaches in the world. I want the players to be the best versions of themselves and all of them to fulfill their dreams. Huh? Enjoy it? And the only way to do that is through time and effort. There's no such thing as hours in football. There's no time limit. Mario. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. It's happening. You all right, mate? I'm all right, I'm all right. There's no Good. set hours um, because, you know, you're always constantly thinking, trying to get better. This is very clear. This is, this is clear. Yeah. Look, stop. So, we, we normally come to uh, Brunetti's in Logan Street um, on every sort of day off um, to review games, to review training. It helps us focus. You know, um, and it helps us, you know, maybe think with a clear mind. Now, Valon is in between, yeah. okay, but this guy's done a good job because he can't play vertical, right? But what he does, and he's done well, he makes the fullback stay because of Valon's positioning. I think for us, um, coming to a different environment, it just freshens us up. My role's heavily around training and training design. So, like, we sit down and plan the week and plan literally the year, months in advance sessions to the detail. And then based on that, I'll sort of, PK, what do you think of this for the week? Um, and then he'll look at it and go, yeah, that's pretty good, or I want this adjusted. And then we go deliver it. Dale, coach, you good? Uh, I just wanted to wish you good luck for the camp. I'm going to get to speak to you after. All right? You just worry about you. I care about the players um, because, you know, I was once a player and I want them to seem to do well. You know, because if they do well, our whole game does well. All right? Dale. Ciao. Ciao, mate. The more hours you put in, you should send him, you should send him. the better results you get. As soon as that happens... Squid underneath. Or squid connect. No, no, no. It's, yeah. yeah, but here, but... Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Chow, yeah. You do it. Yeah. Yeah. It has, has to be done. Yeah. After debriefing the film or the training, or individual work. Um, we come down here and we visualise the moments that we've probably been looking at. Let's avoid that one, because that would just go back, and then he's in trouble, because he can't move now. And people think I'm probably mad, but you know, the, the, it's a small detail that makes you win or lose, and successful, and this is the detail that we, you know, that we go through to, you know, to improve our players and our team to play. Reigning champions, this year's premiers, and chasing the double-double. Obviously, you know, losing in the grand final, it doesn't go away. Um, there's moments where you, you do think of it. Nice tail to it, towards it, in towards the opening goal, arrives! Alexander Previc got the touch! It's a difficult, it's a one-off game, and, you know, I, I don't think, you know, I don't think we were the better team, you know, over the 90 minutes. You think about it, and you think the what-ifs, could you have done this better, and, um, yeah, it's part of, a, Again, a, a young coach like myself, where you, you have to learn from a, 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 and a squad. Western United have won the A-League Championship. The feeling is, 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 isn't great, but you know, again, you, ne you need to go through some pain um, to grow, um, and, that, and that's what we're trying to do. training regime here is a lot more intense than everywhere else I've been. But now that I'm used to it, knock on wood, I've been okay. 
Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I'm just getting ready. show you uh, last training in uh, and, and just have a look at the, the patterns that we worked on. They're actually really good. It's just execution. I'm a young coach trying to get better and if I don't push myself and I don't learn then I'll be a, a stagnant coach and, and I don't want to do that. Luis, stop. Perfect. You've got one in one movement, got the other. Don't let this confuse you of the outcome. The outcome is the pattern. Okay, that's, the, that's my outcome. The outcome is the pattern. At the end of it, okay, you think the outcome's the goal. No, the goal is to have that work first. Then it's the next bit. I instill the toughness or so the, the work ethic okay. in everything we do, the, uh, but I'm quite demanding. And uh, once you come to training, you know, that's when it really starts. Solo uno. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Touch hands. Jack, Jack, come. Bounce, bounce. Go, you need it. Move, push, push, push. Okay, lads, get yourself a drink. See, see Saturday, but then you just good. When we train, it's it's fl it's flat out. We push the boundary um, because we want resilient players here and um, that can mentally, you know, physically cope with the style of play that we play. Too high? You're too high, number one. Wait till he gets the touch. Obviously, he demands a lot. Okay, I don't want you on the line. You know, he's uh, very ruthless in the way we want to play and, you know, if you're, if you're not doing, you know, the right things, uh, he'll happily tell you, but uh, also off the pitch, he's... Uh, very easy to talk to. He likes to have a laugh as well. Hey, instead of, instead of guns, they're laptops. Yeah. <laughs> so Abu Kurti and just put it in. There you go. Yeah, he's a tough, he's a tough cookie. Go, better ball. Hello, hello. Go, hello. Every day in training, every little thing, he's onto it for us, especially young boys. Uh, we get hammered quite a lot, but I think it comes from a good place, and that's where it will help us grow as footballers. Play him. No. Harry, for fuck's sake, take it out. I'm always, you know, pushing myself and pushing the players. And if someone needs to be told something, you know, I'll tell them. But, you know, if someone, you know, needs a, a good pat on the back, they'll get that, you know. Excellent. Good. Demo, basta with you, OK? Yeah. Huh? Take it easy with me. Yeah, yeah. Good boys. Yeah, calm. Yeah. First, yes! Check your movement. OK. I'm walking towards you because I've got an issue, not because I like you. Goody. Okay. Just knew I went too hard with the pass across the. Hold it. Yeah. Watch it tweak. Nah, I feel it a little bit. Yeah. Get this right. Sudden, all please. Just in building up, right? It is. Make sure you're ready to play. say it's a normal game because it's not you try and treat it like that but you know when come derby time there's always that extra bit of that special feeling ar around it well done lads well done good boys hey bottle all of this bottle all of this 
You work him and you run him into the ground. You work him and run him into the ground. That's it. One by one, we win. Okay, it's in the eyes. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, see? Nah. Yeah, it's either hundred percent or not. Okay. Tell Ralphie to change Jamo yeah. and just leave Jamo uh, here. Good Andy. Bravo Maka. Yes, Jack. Good Johnny. Appreciate it. Yes, Tilia. Bravo Thomas. Bravo Guri. Eneki. Yes, Anil. Forte, forte, giocatore, forte. Come on. It's very clear, it's very clear what's needed. Very clear. But like every time, you've got to go out and do it. You've got to go out, you've got to dominate. Number one, first, second balls, work rate. That's a non-negotiable. The football takes care of itself, but the effort has got to be at maximum level, maximum. Tonight, you've got to come off the game thinking, fuck me, actually, you know what? I might collapse here, mentally and physically. Why? Because you're at it, at it, at it, at it. Every ball. High, low, it doesn't matter. Individually, you've got to win your battle. You've got to win it. And then collectively, boom, strong. No one comes in. Who's the one that's going to set the tone? Who? All talk, but who? Alicia. <laughs> The eyes of the country are focused on Amy Park. It's Melbourne Victory versus Melbourne City. The 38 Melbourne Derby. A sellout crowd at Amy. Derbies are about rivalries on the pitch, but also in the terraces. The North Terrace has been warming up the vocal cords. The City Terrace is full at the other end. They may be at Amy Park their home ground, but this is very much enemy territory this evening. But it wouldn't be a Melbourne derby without some late drama, and there have been changes. At the last minute, Scott Jamison has withdrawn from the side after the warm-up with a groin strain, meaning Curtis Good, who only just returned to the playing squad this week after a layoff with injury, is thrust into the starting 11. City of Melbourne after 90 minutes this evening. Good Maka! Up next! Good! 90 closed down by Lecky. Fullbacks gotta do that. Yeah, our fullbacks, Bossy need to be high. Bossy touched 90 there. And victory switch from right to left. Economides, Canete, the overlapping run, the cross in! Brillante should have scored! Yeah. Good, good come out, Sandy. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Because Lex is getting dragged everywhere. Johnny! Boss! Johnny! It's you, not Lex! Hey, Johnny, pass the ball. Marco, do his toes. Billy, Johnny! Oh! Hey! Uh, fuck! Oh. Nani holding that right knee. Let's hope that's nothing. Maybe a bit of a dead leg in the thigh. For what? That's it, bossy. Move the ball, move the ball. Good. Simple. Reactions. McLaren again looking to pounce. Lecky goes to ground too easily, according to the referee. Have a look, have a look, have a look, look, have a look. The referee's going to have a look. This could be the first turning point in this contest. Hey, look! Referee! Ali Reza Fagani. Returning to the field of play, all eyes on him, penalty! For another bit of history, Jamie McLaren can move ahead of Melbourne Victory's best 
Hassan Barisha in the all-time scoring charts in the Melbourne derby. McLaren against Izzo. And Jamie McLaren makes no mistake. Sliding challenge in the box, it had to be timed perfectly. Corner City, Ballon Barisha again, the Kosovo International. Short corner. Shot! Shot! The run near post from Tilio, it's a set piece, it's a training ground move! City energy really. They're just closing victory down so sharp. We can find themselves with a massive, massive job in front of them now. Stay focused, huh? Fucking stay focused. Yeah. Whoa, oh, Aiden! Touch! Touch, touch your booty! And the victory skipper, a nightmare. 35 minutes in the Melbourne derby for Josh Berlante. And if Melbourne victory are to come back from this, it's going to be the stuff of legend. What are you going to tell Licky as soon as it comes? Why? OK? He's going to come over, and then you're inside too. So if you force it back, you can push, and then the negative ball, left, Licky's up, OK? And it's half time in the derby. It's Melbourne City 2, Melbourne victory nil. All right, snap. OK, hey, good. The reason why you're in this position is because you fight. That's not enough. It's not enough. I want more and more and more. It's tempo. Controlled tempo with the ball. Boom, boom, switch straight away. Boom, and then, okay, boom, triangle. Boop, boop. Is that clear? Same on the right hand side. Nothing in between the lines. Okay? Hey, you got to keep going. You got to keep going. Any questions? Okay, come on. We've got about four minutes, guys. Hey, come in. Forty-five. Forty-five. Are you gonna let Negro dominate you? Huh? Are you gonna let the fullback dominate you? Are you gonna let the winger dominate you? Are you gonna let anyone come in that box? Huh? Are you gonna lead? Are you gonna let the centre back push you? Are you gonna let the number six? Bosh you and run past you. Are you going to let Bloomberg in between? Dribble? Are you going to let Nanny touch? Are you going to let the guy touch the ball? Huh? Are you going to let Diego Stina win a header? Are you? Individual battles. Let's go. Come on, come on. Come on. What a wonderful sight, the Melbourne skyline in the background. The lights are on at Amy Park. We are halfway through the 38th Melbourne Derby. Go, Jack! 1-1! One, one. They spread wide with Naboo inside. Talbot, Barisha, back for Naboo, curling it. Ooh. Good! Good boy! 
Barisha's on the ball now. Oh, and the pass. Fucking hell. Dupont goal! Let's see Patrick Kisnovo on the sidelines. He will not stop for the 94, 95, however many minutes it takes to secure victory in the derby. Thomas Early! Don't shoot! It's fucking transition! Fucking individual! Antilio looking for the run of McLaren and Izzo, not taking any chances. Last win! Fucking shoot from there! Melbourne City trying to turn the heat up again now, but they haven't really dominated this half the way Patrick Cosnorbo would want them to. They're providing enough of a lifeline by their inability to put Melbourne Victory away to keep the hosts alive in this derby. And if they do manage to get one back, just listen to this place go. Brimmer's early ball, I need water. No, 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 no. Give me I need a fresh one. Boss accelerates. Nanny trying to foul. Can't do so. Jordan Boss still going. It's a great run. It's a fantastic oh. run. And that is the final chance of this match. Just five months after Melbourne victory trounced Melbourne City. The Premiers have their revenge. It's finished at Amy Park. Melbourne City 2, Melbourne victory nil. These games, uh, they take a bit, you know, and uh, it was excellent to see yeah, that they rose to the occasion. They never stop and they work for each other and you know, it was really pleasing to see that side of the game today. This is what we do, you know, week in, week out. We prepare for 90 minutes. I'm always looking for extra and Maybe sometimes I'm unrealistic with maybe myself or um, what I see. Um, but, you know, we always want to get better and I want to get better as a coach and I want the team to get better, I want the players to get better and the way to do it is, is to keep pushing and trying to find extra. I think Grant could, could be as good as anyone in the world. Mr. Graham Arnold, nice to meet you. Hey, mister. That one's got manners. Where's the thank you for getting in business class, mate? I say. <laughs> I think everyone's dream is playing Europe. That was, that was my dream as well. We all know he's, he's signed for Newcastle United in the Premier League, so we want to say how proud we are of you. I want to inspire young children to dream big and the sky's the limit. <laughs>